And now it's time to discuss the case number one, HTTP parameter pollution. This is a very powerful attack that can help you to bypass authorization. And this is exactly what I'm going to show you in this case. So I've got a demo to illustrate this attack uh, step by step. And before I jump to the demo, I will uh, tell you what's the uh, actually uh, root cause of the problem here, what this attack is all about. We've got, as the name of the attack suggests, we've got some parameter pollution involved in this attack. And it basically means that we are going to send the same parameter many times in the request. And the interesting question is how the web application is going to interpret this request. So if you've got just a single occurrence of a given parameter, then it is easy task for the web application. This parameter will just be processed. But when you've got multiple occurrences of the same parameter, then the question is what to do with this request. So shall the web application take into account the first occurrence of the parameter or the last occurrence of a given parameter in the HTTP request or something different? That's a good question. We've got some ambiguity here and ambiguity is an enemy of security. So if we introduce some ambiguity in the HTTP request, then we can have some very powerful exploitation uh, scenarios um, at the uh, very end. And this is exactly what I want to show you. Okay. So for now, please keep in mind that we are going to introduce some ambiguity to the web application and we are going to do it in a way that we are adding many occurrences of a given parameter in HTTP request. Okay. Uh, this is uh, this is enough for for the introduction. Now let me jump uh, quickly to the demo so so that it is uh, more and more uh, clear for you. Okay, so uh, let me go to training uh, the local HPP. So right now you know what parameter pollution is. High level overview. You just have a kind of feeling of the problem here. Uh, but we are uh, at this moment very far away from uh, the exploitation scenario. But this is what I'm going to uh, show you in, in, in the upcoming minutes. But you have to have the understanding of why polluting with parameters can lead to problems. Okay. That's why I made this very short explanation to you. Okay. This is uh, the testing environment. This is a demo. Money transfer. I'm going to transfer money from one account to another account. So uh, let's take a look at this query string. From ID 1 to ID 2 amount 100. Let me click this guy. And you see success. You see success because my account is identified by number 1. And from my own account, I can send $100 to another account. I am just authorized to do it. Now, if you take a look at this query string, well, uh, definitely I shouldn't be authorized to do it. In the reverse order, I shouldn't be able to transfer the money from another account to my account, right? I, I shouldn't be able to do it. That's why you see a failure. And this is expected, right? Okay. But now we are coming to the last query string, which is the most interesting one. We've got actually the same query string, but we've got many occurrences of the same parameter in this query string. Uh, please take a look. From ID 2, from ID 1 to ID 1 to ID 2, amount 100. So we've got two occurrences of from ID and two occurrences of to ID, right? 
And, uh, well, this is parameter pollution in action. And in a couple of minutes, you will see why I introduced this uh, ambiguity here, why I introduced the second occurrence of parameter named from ID and parameter named to ID, okay? But now I believe that you are following uh, with me and this is more and more clear what I'm doing here. Before I uh, explain to you this exploitation scenario, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this demo and how the data is actually transmitted in between the browser, web application in PHP and web service in Java, okay? Because what you can see uh, below is web application PHP, web service in Java, and, and right now um, you don't know what these guys are all about. So uh, let me go to the whiteboard and uh, let me tell you more about it, okay? So uh, here is um, uh, my browser and I wanna send the money, okay? From one account to another account. We've got a web application in PHP and we've got web service in Java. We've got something like this. And now uh, let me tell you more about the system. When I wanna send money from one account to another, then my browser sends a request to the web application in PHP. This web application in PHP checks if I am authorized to do this uh, action, right? From my account, I can send money to another account provided that I have got, for example, $100, right? But in the reverse direction, no, I am not authorized. And when I am authorized to do a money transfer, then the web application sends a request to the web service in Java and the web service in Java is just responsible for making a transaction, okay? So here is make a transaction. This is how it works. So once again, I'm sending the request from my browser the web application in PHP checks if I am authorized to do this operation. If I am authorized, then the web application sends a request to the web service in Java and the web service in Java is just responsible for making a money transaction. That's it. Please notice that the authorization has been done here and the, my goal will be to bypass this authorization. In other words, when the request goes out from here and reaches this point, this guy, this web service in Java is just making a transaction. This request that comes here is just processed, right? My goal is to bypass uh, the authorization uh, actually here. So now I believe that you've got a better understanding of the system and what's going on here, okay? Now let's go back uh, to my uh, demo. And let me now click this guy and let me show you how powerful it is, okay? So I just clicked uh, the query string with polluted parameters. What I see is the message success. Well, so I am able to do uh, some kind of money transfer. What kind of money transfer? Please take a look uh, carefully at this part, web application in PHP first. The Query string is, again, the polluted query string is from ID 2, from ID 1, to ID 1, to ID 2, amount 100. And now please look at the details, like what's the actual value of a parameter named from ID and to ID. I've got some debug information here presented to you so that you can see how this query string with polluted parameters is interpreted by PHP. You see that from ID is equal to one and to ID is equal to two. What does it mean? Please take a look at the query string once again. The first occurrence of from ID is two. The second from ID is one. And here you see that from ID is one. What does it mean? 
it means that PHP takes into account the second occurrence of a given parameter. Let's take a look again. From ID 2, from ID 1, and from ID is 1. So PHP must have taken into account the second occurrence, or the last actually, which is the same, occurrence of uh, from ID parameter from this query string. That's why from ID is 1. And the same story happens with a parameter named 2ID. 2ID1, 2ID2. And the value of 2ID is 2. So again, you see that PHP has taken into account the second occurrence of parameter named 2ID. This is how PHP works, okay? This is how PHP resolves this ambiguous um, uh, situation. Okay, so far so good. So as you can see, uh, PHP has taken into account the last occurrence of a given parameter, and now you already know that I am authorized to send money from the account identified by one to account identified by two, because uh, ID one is my own account. So from my own account, I can send money to another account identified by two. And the amount that is going to be uh, transferred is $100, right? So the authorization is done. We are done with authorization and I am authorized to do this operation. And now, as I explained to you on the whiteboard a couple of minutes ago, once I am authorized to do a given transaction, then the request goes out from the web application in PHP to the web service in Java. So now I am authorized to do this operation and this query string is transmitted to the web service in Java and the web service in Java is just making a transaction. We are now done with authorization. And here the interesting thing happens. This query string goes to the web service in Java, but Java doesn't take into account the last occurrence of a given parameter when we've got parameter pollution in the HTTP request. And very interesting attack is happening here. Please take a look at this. Uh, we are authorized. This query string is sent to the web service in Java. Uh, please take a look at this guy again. From ID 2, from ID 1. What's the value of from ID? It's two. So the first occurrence of from ID has been taken into account by Java, right? Now we've got two ID one, two ID two. What's the value of two ID? Two ID is one. So the first occurrence of two ID has been taken into account by Java. Because as I told you, Java takes into account the first occurrence of a given parameter when we've got some parameter pollution, okay? And this is right now very interesting because these two technologies behave differently for polluted parameters. But guys, I believe that you are following with me. We are right now done with authorization here. We are done with authorization. So from the point of view of the PHP, I am authorized to send the money from ID 1 to ID 2. The request goes to Java. Java interprets the very same query string differently. And what Java is actually doing is not sending the money, not making a um, transaction from ID equal one to ID equal two, but in the reverse direction. Can you see that? From ID two to ID one. But when Java is making this transaction, we are already done with authorization. So this is how we can use HTTP parameter pollution to bypass authorization. It's beautiful. Let's introduce some ambiguity in HTTP request 
And from the point of view of authorization, uh, these uh, polluted parameters don't matter, but when the authorization is done and the request goes to the web service in another technology like Java, then Java interprets the same polluted parameters differently and uh, different operation is done. Normally, we are not authorized to do it. This is how you can bypass authorization with HTTP parameter pollution. It's really great. It's powerful. And I believe that you like it very much. So let me right now uh, jump to the slides and uh, let me summarize it. So we can transfer money from ID equal one to ID equal two, but in the reverse direction, we cannot do it, which is obvious. But when we use HTTP parameter pollution, then we can actually bypass authorization and we can send $100 from another account to our own account. Extremely powerful attack. And uh, this is it. So now I believe that uh, all these uh, steps are clear for you. Now we are done with this case. So uh, let me jump to the next one.